Hello everyone, welcome to Facebook Live. My name's Tracy. If you're new here, my name's Tracy. I'm, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. So I'm so excited to have you. I go live every Thursday, so um, if you um, are new here, you can catch me every Thursday here at five. So I'm just going to wait, um, oops, hopefully that didn't do too much there. I'm just gonna wait for a few people to pop on and I can see a few great faces popping on. Welcome everyone, I hope you've had a really great week. Hi Wendy, hi Sylvia, hi Pam. Excellent, we've got a few on. Hi Lisa, excellent. Okay, so how's everyone's week been? Um, hopefully you've all had a busy week or a quiet week, whichever you prefer. Um, I, I don't know, my weeks are pretty much the same. Super busy and super quick. Uh, uh, Thursday comes around really, really fast. Hi Shelley, welcome. Hi Sandy, excellent, we've got lots of people on. Oh, Jeanette, hi, welcome. Wow, and Marion, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen so many pop on all at once. It's really great to have you here. Very cold week, Pam, it's ridiculous. So Marion's got cold and wet up in northern New South Wales. Um, we've had our heater broken, our heater that actually goes through the whole house. So um, yeah, we're waiting on parts. So it's super, super cold here uh, without a heater. Hi Annette, watching from Brizzy. How's Brizzy at the moment? Um, I'm probably a little bit warmer than down here, I'm sure. Hi Chrissy. Chrissy's in South Australia, so how is South Australia? I think it's pretty cold everywhere, but um, that's what happens in winter. Oh, you're welcome, Chrissy. I'm glad that you got it. Excellent. Sylvia, really cold here in NZ too. Has everyone got fires or do you have heaters? Um, we got rid of our wood fire quite a few years ago because it was just too much work, but um, our gas heater works really well when it's working. <laughs> cool in Brisbane but you've had some uh, warmer weather during the day too I think um, I've got a, my best friend lives up in Ipswich actually and um, she said that the days have been quite nice so yeah hi Deidre welcome Adelaide's very cold does that mean that we'll get some even colder weather coming probably Pam has reverse cycle in every room Annette has a fireplace and Sylvia has a fire as well. Yeah, I, I think you can't beat um, the warmth of wood heaters once you've got them going. It just takes a long time for them to, I think it takes a long time for them to get them to warm up. Going strong all day. And then it's had rain today. I wish, um, I think we're getting rain tomorrow and the weekend. So I'm super excited. I love rain and we definitely need it down here as well. Um, we've had a wood plus gas heating, much prefer the wood. Yeah, I think there's something nostalgic about the old wood stove, especially if you can see the flames, which is really great. Okay, I've got 14 here, so welcome everyone. If you're new, please um, just pop in the comments, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, and you'll also go on the draw for next week's card as well. So well, for the card that we're creating today, but I'll do the drawing next week. So whether you're watching the replay, whether you're watching um, over on YouTube, you can do that as well and you'll go in the draw. So welcome everyone. Let's get started. I've got a few th quick things to show you, but I've got a really exciting card for you. So last week, um, Lisa, you said you would like to see an interactive card. I've got an interactive card for you tonight and I'm really excited to show it to you. So hopefully I um, don't stuff anything up, but um, there's a little bit to it. So I'm really excited to be showing it um, to you this week. Back your bum up to it. Uh, that'll keep you warm. Chrissy's had enough of the rain. Oh, welcome Annette. First time to see me, beautiful. Is that to catch me live or to actually come on? Hi Joyce. Freezing in Horsham. Horsham gets very cold. I've been there a few times, so welcome everyone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the camera down and we'll go through some of the things um, and the announcements for this week. So bear with me just a second. And you may be able to hear my puppy having a bit of a sook, but she'll be fine. Okay, so really exciting news. 
I've got my catalogues. I've got the um, mini catalogues have arrived. So um, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so this week on YouTube, if you've been following me on Tuesday, I had the reaction to one of my first YouTube videos. I thought that was a lot of fun to do. Very embarrassing, but it's great to see growth in what I've done. So um, if you haven't checked that one out, you can check that one out. And then on Thursday, so today I've had in color cards. So let me bring them in and quickly show you. So it's the same design using all of the 2020 to 2022 colors. So this one is Magenta Madness. It's using the Forever Fern bundle and also the subtle embossing folders. We have the in color ribbon, the in color enamel dots. Hi Fiona. You've not seen my lives at all. Welcome Annette. I'm so glad, happy to have you here. So we have Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight. I love these in color colors. They're so beautiful. We have Just Jade. Oh, thanks Fiona. Cinnamon Cider, which this color's starting to grow on me, I will admit. And Bumblebee. And this is actually a really nice bright yellow as well. So that is the five in color cards. Oh, thanks everyone. It's simple design. This would make a really great set in those acetate card boxes or you could create your own box. I love giving um, cards as gifts. So um, this would work really well. Super quick and easy to uh, actually make and um, quickly make as well. So absolutely beautiful set. So not a lot to show you with my cards, but um, I do have my Sunday's Facebook challenge. So every Sunday I put a new challenge up um, over on my Facebook page. So for Sundays was a free choice, which I thought would be nice and easy for everyone um, being a free choice, but I think everyone struggled a little bit. But this is my very favorite set in the annual catalog, the Playful Pets. And I've used some fine tip glue in those hearts to give it real dimension. I've got a uh, stencil in the background that I've um, sponged as well to give that brick wall effect. So really, really cute. So nice. And I love, you know, you've got the back end of the puppy as well as the, the front. And if you haven't noticed, um, if you're not a stamping up demonstrator, you might not already know, but Sarah, who, um, who is the CEO of Stamping Up, this is actually, made the stamps actually made from her puppy so that was super super cute idea and there's cats on this set as well so it's for cats and dogs lovers but um, i'm definitely a dog lover so i really love this set for the dogs yeah everyone loves the doggies so if you want to join in you have till sunday morning but i'll have a new challenge sunday as well so everyone's welcome you can use current products uh, retired products or if you have other products that are not stamping up you're very welcome to join in and use those as well. The more the merrier, and we're a really great bunch of ladies to um, craft with, so please join in. If you are new to stamping up or to stamping, I also have the beginner brochure. This is really great. It has some really wonderful ideas inside um, to get you starting. Um, sometimes the big annual catalog can be really hard because there's so much to choose from so it gives you some really nice little suggestions there as well if you're not already working with a demonstrator let me know and i'll be happy to send you one out of those as well chrissy you haven't used it yet did you haven't you have done one just haven't posted it on here yet excellent we'll, we'll look forward to seeing your card soon Please join in, it's a lot of fun. July is bonus day, so for every $90 here in Australia, you are going to get a $9 coupon sent to you in your inbox. Now make sure that you hold on to those coupons because I don't believe you can get them back if you delete them. Um, the more you purchase, the more coupons you'll have to use in August. So you have till the end of the month um, for this bonus. The Box of Sunshine, the Paper Pumpkin Kit will be coming out on the 11th of August. It is while stocks last. 
if you follow um, over in North America and Canada, they already have this set out. Some really wonderful ideas um, coming out from those kits. And I'm super excited that it's going to be around the world. So everyone around the world will be able to purchase this one. Now, Paper Pumpkin is usually just a uh, North American and Canadian um, kit, but they're offering it to Europe and the South Pacific as well. So super excited for this um, to be coming out soon. Okay, let's just go on. We have the annual catalogue, and I, I feel that it's not that long ago that I was showing new annual catalogue products. With the new transition year, this is a transition year for catalogues. Um, we have the holiday coming out next month. It's available now for demonstrators. So if you're a demonstrator, you can purchase from this kit. If you wanna join up to become a demonstrator, you can place items from this catalog in your starter kit. But it is available for customers next month, the 4th of August. Now I have received my pre-order for the mini catalog today I'll be doing a Facebook live tomorrow I believe to do an unboxing and I've also purchased the catalogs for my customers so um, if you're a customer of mine you've purchased from me in the last six months um, I'll be sending you out those catalogs and I'll hopefully get them out by mid next week um, I want to do a special card and and um, to pop in with the catalog so if you're a customer be looking out for that in your mailbox. If you would like one, um, let me know. Okay, so both of those, the annual catalogue is still available. There's so many wonderful things in that, um, but um, look forward to the mini catalogue. Off oh, Yanni, you can pre-order from anything in the catalogue. There's no, um, it's not like the annual catalogue where you can only choose certain things. You could choose anything from the catalogue. So really, really great and Here's the catalogs. I've just got to do a few things before sending them out. So I'm super excited. That'll be a job for the weekend. Um, just quickly too, if you are shopping with me in my online store, this is this month's hostess code. Please use that hostess code. Um, by shopping with me, you'll get a few really great benefits. And let me just move. I'm not sure how well. My lights are working. That might be a little bit better, I don't know. Um, but we have bundle tutorial. Now this changes every single month. Um, this is the card for this month that I have created using the gorgeous, um, what's that? Um, oh, it's just gone out of my head. Flowers. Flowers Designer Series paper. I can't think of it now. It's just completely gone out of my head, but love this card. It's a really cute card, and there's some great cards in this bundle. Flowers for every season. That's what it is. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you just start thinking of things and it completely goes out of your head? But anyway, so each month it's a different uh, bundle tutorial. So if you're purchasing off me each month, you're going to get something different each time. Now the card, the handmade card for this month is the same one that we created last week on the live. So this one here, um, that is also a free gift that I'll be giving out to my customers that order through me through July, as well as Inky rewards. So for every $50 you spend, you're gonna get an Inky stamp that you can get free products um, when you, once you reach 10 Inky spots. Okay, so I think that was all of um, the announcements that I had for this week. I want to quickly show you the card that we're creating and then we're going to do the drawing for last week's um, card. So we're using the Nothing's Better Than bundle. So this one here. This is my second favourite in the catalogue. Love it. And here is our interactive card. So there's a little belly band. I'm going to slip that off. And then we're going to open the card up. And it says inside, today's plan, consume cocktails and be awesome. And then we've got the cocktail inside. So super fun card. And yeah, just something a little bit different to create. Let me just show you the cocktail as well. So we're using um, some ink pads as well as some markers. It's really cute. Doesn't that look nice? I don't know what sort of cocktail that would be. I don't drink 
uh, cocktails, but I think that looks very inviting. Okay, so let's do the drawing for last week's card. That's this one here using the Celebrate Sunflowers. Good luck, everyone. Oh, thanks, Jeanette. Okay, let's choose one person. Ros Gold Wolf. Congratulations, Ros. Um, if you could just get in touch with me and let me know your address, because I don't know your address, and I can send that out to you. Well done, everyone. Okay, so let me bring that card in again. I'm just going to go through some of the products that we're using. So we are using the bundle, and I'm just going to take that die out really quickly. So... I'm also using the layering oval dies, and I'll show you those ones in a minute. I've done a little bit of pre-die cutting just to make uh, it a little, a little bit um, quicker for us tonight, because it's going to be a long card, I think, anyway. But in the ink pads, I have Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, and Bermuda Bay. We're also using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then in our stamp and write markers, I have Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo. So um, this is just to make it a little bit easier. You can also use your ink pads if you don't have the markers. This just makes it a little bit easier um, to create this effect with the stamp. Okay, so I have my card base here. And let me just go through some of the things that I've already done. So I have two pieces of cardstock and all the measurements are going to be on the YouTube um, description tomorrow. But both of these measure uh, eight by five and a half inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of scoring. So I'm going to score at two inches and four inches on both. Let's just quickly do that. And then on one of these, because they actually fold together. Oh, hi, Glenda. Welcome. We're making this card right here. Um, on one of the cards, so I've scored at two and four inches. On the very end, I'm just going to take off a bit of a sliver. So not a lot, but I want to be able to pop them together and for the card to go together, um, the folds to go together really well. And if you don't do that, it actually has a bit of a gap in between. So... So not much, just a bit of a slither. Okay. Now before we move those ones out of the road, I'm just going to bring my bone folder in. We're going to score the card in half. And then the other flap we're going to fold backwards. So on both. Nice, bright, fun colours uh, for this card. And then you've just got to put them together. So one will go on the back, um, just depending on which one you've cut that bit of a slither off. But you can see that they all go together. The next thing we're going to do is let me bring in our other pieces. So I have a piece of Whisper White that we're going to do some die cutting with and our stamping. We have, oh sorry, no, this one's actually the insert for the card. I've got a piece of Whisper White here for some die cutting, which I've already done. So I'm using the largest circle, or largest oval in the layering ovals. I have a Bermuda Bay for the belly band. Now this one here is the second 
largest oval and I've cut it just with a piece of copy paper. Um, this is going to be our guide for cutting the front of our card. And you can see here, when we cut it out, I'm left with one of these and we're going to cut the cocktails out of one of our um, off cuts. So that's the die from that set. Then we have the scallop and this is Bermuda Bay. Now this one here is the second, no sorry, third largest scallop. And then we have the fifth largest in Daffodil Delight and I've just cut that one out and that's just the straight, um, the straight oval. Okay. So let me bring this one in. So we have, this is where I don't want to muck it up. So I have the second largest oval. And what we're going to do is we're going to die cut our window. So let me just open up this window that we have here. Okay. So I'm going to move everything else out of the road so I don't muck anything up. Been worried all day about this one. Okay. So we're placing it together and lining it all up. Now you need almost three hands for this, but I probably make it harder than it is. We're going to take that um, piece of copy paper that I've pre-die cut and I've folded it in half so I know the very half of that die. So lining those score marks up with the sides of the card and I want to make sure that it's in the middle as well. Okay. If I grab, and if you're like me, you're going to have lots and lots of washi tape on hand that you've never used. We're going to use a little bit of washi tape um, for this card. So I'm going to line it up with that piece that I've just popped down. Just going to tape down on one side. Okay, let's hold on to that. Opening this one up, and we're actually going to run it through. We want it to cut out on both sides of this um, to create that window. So let me bring in the big shot. the plate down on top and as long as I haven't moved it it should be fine let's run that one through bring it back to do the other side but let me just pull these off really easily Okay, so we're going to line it back up again, and this is important so it lines up on both sides. You're holding your breath. <laughs> so am I, Lisa. That's why I'm not talking. <laughs> Once I get past this, I'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one back inside.
lining up those edges again. And I suppose it's not the end of the world if it doesn't line up, but I want to do my best for you all. So I think we've got it. I'm going to bring the big shot in and we'll cut this one again. Now this one here, you get two of these, but I've used it to cut out that cocktail die as well. So keep hold of them, you can use them as well. And the other one we're using on our belly band. So this one here, and you can see there's that um, score line in there, but don't worry about it. No one will even see it or pick up on it anyway. <laughs> you weren't game to comment being a newbie here. You're holding your breath too. I usually do really simple cards, so that's why I'm a little bit nervous about doing something that I can't rewind and start again if I really stuff it, but I know everyone will be kind anyway, even if I do. So just careful with that washi tape. What's everyone doing for the weekend? I've, um, I think I'm gonna get my hair cut because I've got, my fringe is really bad, it needs, needs to be cut. And I've got to dye my hair. It's very gray. Okay, so I've got that little bit, there we go. Okay, so hopefully if we line it up, they're going to meet. Well done everyone, I think whoever's been praying for me, it worked. <laughs> Marin, you could have used this design for your challenge, absolutely. Okay, so that is ready to go. Um, we're going to do some stamping on that in just a minute. But before we get going, I want to do the rest of our um, scoring with the scoreboard. So the belly band, we're going to score in two spots. And the belly band actually is a little bit longer than we need, but we can cut it off as we need it. So this measures one inch by 11 inches and we're gonna score it at two inches. And six and one quarter. And we have the Whisper White insert. Now this measures 10 by three and a half. So we're gonna score, actually I think I've already scored it at five inches. So this gives plenty of room for you to write inside your card as well. Sometimes you like to have lots of room to write inside your card. Sometimes you don't wanna write so much. So you can please yourself, but I think um, being inside, Gives you plenty of room. So that's that one. And I'm just going to line these edges up as I score as well. Oh. Don't think I scored that quite so well. Okay, so like I said, I have a little bit extra that we're going to cut off, but it's better to make sure that you have enough than um, it be too um, too short for you. Okay, let's do some stamping now with that beautiful stamp set. So we have a few different stamps that we're going to need. So let's start with our front of our card and I'm just going to pop even though we haven't glued any of these together I'm just going to pop a little bit of scrap paper in the middle and we're going to stamp all the way around with the cocktail and we're using flirty flamingo 
uh, ink. So this is tone on tone. Um, you could choose another stamp set for this one or leave it blank. I think it would look fine blank as well, but I do love creating backgrounds with my stamps. Oops. So you can move your stamp all the way around. Something a little bit different. Gives it a nice good interest, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna move that to the side. Let's keep going with our stamping. So let's bring the belly band in. We're going to stamp on Thick Whisper White and we're going to use the Memento uh, for that same stamp that we've used, but let's just clean it off really quickly. And I love that we have so many different um, ideas for this stamp set. So there's coffee, cookies, cocktails and chocolate. So you could change this out for any of these and create different cards with it. Uh, four easy ones straight up. But we've got insides and outsides for your cards as well, which is awesome. Okay. That could have been bad. All good. Now we're going to stamp with the markers for this one. So I'm going to bring all my markers in. And with this we have two little stamps. So we have the little lemon wedge or the lime wedge and then the umbrella. So the umbrella is going to be in Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to use my thick brush marker and just colour the colour down onto my stamp. Like I said, you can use just your ink pads if that's what you have. Huff on it to reactivate the ink. And try and get over that and line it up as best I can. Beautiful. Let's go on with the Granny Apple Green and I'm going to make this a lime wedge. Now the great thing about this one so that does the inside of your lime. I'm going to go in with the marker and colour in the rind. Let me bring that up and show you. Isn't that sweet? Okay. With the inside of the cocktail, we're going to use the lightest colour first. So I have the Daffodil Delight and... We're going to, yeah, start at the top. I didn't know whether I needed to leave just a little bit of room there, but it's all good. We have pumpkin pie. So many possibilities uh, for this stamp set. It's great colours out there, but I think you can't go past the bright and bold. Huffing down on that one and look at that. Who wouldn't want one of those right now? Before I run that through, actually no, we'll move that to the side. That'll be fine. We're going to run some Winker Stella over that as well. We have the Daffodil Delight and I've got my Daffodil Delight ink pad here. And also in that set, there is a little star stamp. So I'm just going to randomly stamp around. You certainly don't have to do this. You could run this through an embossing folder. That would look really good as well. Um, I just thought it needed just that little bit of detail on the back. You know, sometimes my cards are either really simple or um, lots of work. 
The glasses are cute. Thanks, Sandra. They certainly are. What cocktail colours would you um, create for your cocktail? And I think that I, I can only think of fruit tingles and I have no idea what colour they are. Does anyone know? I always just think of um, tropical colours. Okay. So let's just bring in some of our die cuts. So simply that's part of our belly band all ready to go. So that come together really, really quickly. I'm going to bring the belly band back in and I'm just going to chop off a little bit off that. So you can see where it ends there. I'm going to stop it around here. And I'll just tell you actually how long that is, just in case you don't want to use a whole, to nine and a quarter inches. And the same little star stamp that we've just used, I'm going to bring that back in, cleaning it off, and we're going to stamp in the Bermuda Bay. So just a little bit of more stamping in the background. Blue, absolutely. All different colours of blue, Sandy. What would you, what would you go with? So I always put my... Um, the connecting piece here on the left and we're just going to stamp along the front here so just quickly do that all oh, the fruit tingles are blue are they are they blue oh, i've got no idea and that's pretty much going to be covered so I'm not going to do all the way across we're doing cheat stamping tonight I don't think I did the back did I no I've left the back plain but if you're creating this one at home you could certainly stamp the back as well I think that that's going to cover us, so all good. While I have that one out, we're going to look at stamping inside here. So before we do that, I'm going to glue these two together because once we glue them together and pop our insert in, we'll be able to know where we need to pop all our sentiments in the middle. So I'm going to use just some liquid glue I find it works really well. Um, gives you that wiggle room as well. So popping it in. Going to line them up. I'm actually really supply, surprised um, that that works so well. <laughs> Blueberry would be nice. Hmm. I think um, blueberry bushel would look really nice um, inside with the Winker Stella. That, even though that's a retired colour, I think that would look really nice. Okay, so we have our card popped together. We have our insert that I'm just going to glue in the middle there. So let's pop that down. Now, if you're making this at home, you could definitely stamp before popping this down. That would probably lower the risk of um, making a mistake stamping. So let's hope I don't make a mistake stamping. Okay. So I'm going to bring in just a pencil, closing the card up and I just want to make a little bit of a mark so I know where my edges are so we know we've got to stay in that circle of, or in that oval there so inside we have 
like cocktails. I think I've lost my dot for my eye. I have to find it. So these ones die cut really easily. And there's, um, in this set, you've got the cocktail, you've got uh, cookies, coffee, and chocolate. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to pop in the middle. And then we're going to bring the stamps in. So today's planned consume is one stamp and this is where the markers come in really handy um, we're going to stamp well, ink up the top today's plan with daffodil delight glenda you'd use flirty flamingo flirty flamingo with blues yeah or just the whole thing flirty flamingo that'd look good too um, moving down to the pumpkin pie for the consume. I honestly don't think you could go wrong choosing any of the stamping up colours for the cocktail, or especially the bright happy ones. So I have just reactivated that ink. And I'm going to try and get this in the middle. Oh no. Okay, hang on, let me get my head in there. Not the best stamping. Learn from my mistake. I probably should have stamped before I popped it in there. Anyway, keep moving forward. We have, and be awesome, we're gonna use the Bermuda Bay marker. Oop, that was upside down. That could have been very funny. <laughs> Get a much better coverage there. Okay, so we're right to just pop down that cocktails. And I'm just going to use the liquid glue. Um, Stamping Up have um, the adhesive sheets that I probably could have used before die cutting, that would work really well and make it a lot easier for yourself. I, to be honest, keep forgetting that I have them. I don't know whether you guys do that, but um, yeah, I always forget some of the things I have. That's all right, Sylvia. Thanks for coming in and, and watching. And you can always catch the replay if you like. I knew this one was gonna be a little bit longer than normal. So if you have to go, I understand. <laughs> Tell them you tried the cocktail prior to stamping. <laughs> That's a good excuse, Marion. <laughs> so I'm just going to close this one up as well, just to make sure I get it right in the middle. I'm just going to pop down just an acrylic block on top. Beautiful. Um, I have just a piece of that backing there. Let's see if I can get that off. thought I'd gotten all those pieces pop through but I didn't that's okay can I just bring my eraser in and get rid of those marks that we've popped in and if you do them lightly it's not a problem
easy. So I took Marion's advice last week and I started watching Bark Skins on um, Foxtel. Has anyone watched it besides Marion? Very, very good. I'm not finished it completely, but I'm absolutely loving it. So we're going to stamp the inside as well, same as we've done for this one here. So let's open it up. I'm going to bring the memento back in. And I think with the lockdown, um, for you guys that aren't in Victoria, uh, Victoria, well not all of Victoria has been locked down, but the Metro has. So far, not us, but um, I don't plan on going out really at all anyway. So it's uh, a little crazy right now. So we're going to bring in those little stamps as well. let's just color those in again so we've got flirty flamingo for the umbrella has anyone got suggestions on things to watch at the moment I don't think I'll be watching the bark skins for too much longer I'm almost finished I've gotten a little addicted to it Bendigo has two cases. Oh, they only had one the other day. That's not good. Definitely worthwhile staying home then. Colour in that lined. So cute. And I'm going to start off with the lighter colour. So Daffodil Delight. Pumpkin Pie. And Bermuda Bay. Oh no. Can you see that? Look what I've just done. Oh my goodness. I wonder if my eraser will get rid of any of that. I really do need to purchase a sand eraser. And that takes off um, just the top layer of card. Oh, that's a shame. That's not coming off. <laughs> Glenda says Netflix has some good shows. You're addicted to. What are you watching, Glenda? What What are you watching right now? And do you recommend it? Okay, so we're not going to worry about that little ink smudge. Let's move that to the side. Um, I'm going to bring in that die cut. And I'm going to just quickly die cut that. I'm going to do that off the screen, so stay with me for a second color lifter I don't think that'd work Marion because it's alcohol marker and that's black ink I think I really do need to buy a sand eraser I have to go to a good craft shop or art supply store and, and pick one of those up that's exactly what I need because that just takes the top layer of your card off There we go. So now we can pop our belly band together. Get rid of that so we don't pop anything into there. So this is one of the ones that we cut off. I'm gonna glue that one down. Over the top. Bermuda Bay. Heartland. Okay. That's is that the horse one? 
blender. I think that's the horse one. I have seen it, I haven't looked into it. Sandy said, heard three identical strangers is good on Netflix. That sounds like a bit of a thriller. Is it a scary one, Sandy? I don't do scary shows. <laughs> I'm sook. And the Daffodil Delight. And there's a reason why I don't do, do scary shows. My husband used to go away a lot with the Defence Force and I don't need scary things in my head when I go to bed, so. It's set in Canada. Okay, I'll have to have a look at that one. So we're gonna pop this little cocktail up and I'm gonna use some mini dimensionals with that one. I have heard of um, the Heartland before. Yeah, Jeanette, you've said it before, I think. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into it. I will admit I'm right into the the period dramas, the yeah, you know, the um, The Last Kingdom and they've just um, come out and said that there's going to be another season which is fantastic and um, what else have I brought? Well, Barkskin's a bit of a period one as well and just finished watching Belgravia on Foxtel. That was really, really good. Sounds like I watch a lot of shows. I probably do. <laughs> okay. 10 seasons. Wow. That'll keep me busy for a while. 10 seasons. Okay, so I'm going to take the backings off. desk is a bit dishevelled. Oh, that was quick, Sylvia. I'm still going. <laughs> that was super quick. Now, I like to use the bones of the dimensionals to cut little slithers. And they work really well on places like that on your cocktail. Binge watch. <laughs> yes. I love going to bed and popping my shows on. And with, without a heater, the bed's the best place to be, I think. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some tear and tape. And you could use liquid adhesive as well, but... Um, I don't want it to go anywhere. A bit worried about that score line that I did. No, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to pop a little bit of tear and tape, two pieces. So I'm going to stick one there, one on this side, and just attach them together. Not far away, just a cold night. Nothing worse than having to leave your nice warm home either. Okay, so let's line those up. And I've just found my eye for my cocktail. Let's attach that. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of glue on the end. Oops. Probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm jumping around a bit, sorry, that's how I craft. Looks better with the eye, doesn't it? Okay. That's got a little bit of glue, that's the one that I just glued down, so let's use the other one. One I prepared earlier. And I'm gonna pop this on. So the trick is, this die cut that we've used here is a smaller shape to this one, so 
that's our matting here and so when it goes over the crop over the top you're not going to see that it's die cut so it's a real wow card when you open it up so you can either put some tear and tape down here liquid adhesive or you could pop it up um, because we've already got a bit of pop up I'm just going to bring some tear and tape in and pop a little bit down So it's not a hard card. The hardest part is lining up your dies um, to get it in the nice spot. And it comes off and on really easy. The last thing I want to do is I want to bring my Winker Stella in and just... Give it that little bit of a sparkle. And that probably won't show up too much on the camera, but so beautiful. And there's the card that we've created. So if you would like a chance to win this one, all you need to do is um, like, comment or share on the video, whether it be live or the replay later on. Let's bring that one in. Excellent. Thanks so much for popping in and joining me tonight. I've really appreciated you um, crafting with me as I talk. Um, next week, I'm, I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Do you have any suggestions? Leave it, leave it in the comments if you have another suggestion, if you'd like to see another interactive card. Um, if there's a technique that you would like to see, um, I can work from there for you. Oh, you've loved the colour. It's very pretty. Thanks, Glenda. No worries, Jeanette. It's been really nice to have you all here. Thanks, Pam. You too. All right, everyone. Um, yeah, I'll see you next Thursday, but you can see me for the Sunday Facebook challenge, for the card challenge, if you want to join me on Sunday, and we'll be back Tuesday and Thursday for YouTube videos and I'll be back Thursday night. Actually, before we go, I will probably be back here probably around the same time tomorrow. Um, I'll do my unboxing for my mini catalogue order if you would like to join me or you'll catch that on the replay over on YouTube um, afterwards. So if you want to catch me live tomorrow, you can do that. All right, everyone, have a super, super safe weekend and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.